We good? Oh, hold on. We live. Oh, we live. Oh, okay, okay. All right, we good. We good. All right, let's go. It's all good. All right, guys. Go. Welcome to the gym, y'all. The Grand Enterprises Movement. Our mission is to motivate, to energize, to uplift, to encourage, and of course, to inspire one another each and every single day, y'all. I'm super duper excited today. We have a very important guest with me, and it is the very own B.A. Yes. What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome. How are you out there doing? Yes, I'm super excited. Thank you for joining us. Um, you know, just glad that you could make it. And it's my pleasure. You know, right on time, man. It's so much that I want to talk to you about, so much that I got to ask. Um, but first, start off, you know, tell the people who you are and what you do. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is B.A. I'm a movie producer, video producer, um, entrepreneur, uh, uh, home improvement. I fix your house top to bottom. You know what I, mean? I do. I do it all. You know, my travels. I've, I've done a little bit of everything. And where you from? I'm from Brooklyn, Brownsville, the Brooklyn Jack. Yeah, facts. Nice, facts. nice. Yeah. Awesome. So, so we're here today. Like you got some things going on. I don't want to give too much away, you know. But I know you got some movies happening. You got, you know, your mentoring program. You got, you know, the Stay Woke movement and everything else. Stay woke and do something about it movement. Right? <laughs> That's right. So we you got a lot going on. I don't know where to start, but what I will say is, you know, tell us a little bit about your projects that you're working on right now. You know, um, whatever you want to share it would be awesome. I um I start with the with the youth um program that we do. When we go around upstate New York and um we grab some of the worst of the worst. Yeah. And you know, we have we have sit downs with them on on, you know, their feelings and how they feel about what's going on in their lives. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, I try to um reach them on a level that can, you know, open their mind a little bit wider right and usually the word freedom usually usually does that to young people because yes. people want to learn how to be free you know what what it is which what are you talking about That's so true <laughs> right so you know things just to grab their interest and you know once i sit them down and i start explaining things and you know uh, what we have to do with these children is make it make sense yes yes that's so true right there's so much stuff out there that doesn't make any sense and we continue to, you know, um, promote that, 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 um, you know, ideology, you know, of, of all these um, theories that these people come up with. You know, we all, we, and we know too, cause we all been saying, you know, this been happening to us. Why, why does this happen to us? Why are we in this position? Why, why, exactly. why, why, why? Exactly. That's the biggest question that we, we all ask ourselves, why? Right. You know what I mean? Right. And today we're we gonna the, find out why. Right. So we got the you got the, the youth program. Yep. Okay. Any other yep. projects you're working on right now that you want to share? Oh man, one of my biggest <laughs> is my web series chess that yes. we will be shooting yes. tomorrow. Wow. The first day of shoot will be tomorrow. Yeah. We are so excited. I got people flying oh. in, driving in, you know. And we ready to work. Yes. We are ready to work. Definitely. That's awesome. So can you can you share a little bit about what chess is about? Like this is a hint. I know people mm. are especially after I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do the best I can without <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's so try not it's to so, give it all the way because we want people to tune in when it goes oh, live. Oh my goodness. Yes, it's, it's gonna be a must see. Yes, it's be a must -see. I can't wait because I mean, go ahead, I'm gonna let you talk. <laughs> yeah, chess, 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 the game of life is exactly what it is. It's the game of, of life, right? So what 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 chess um, is going to do is show our youth and our people how to play the game without being in the game, right? Yeah, I like right? that. We gotta we gotta be able to watch the pieces move. Mm. Right, not move the pieces. Okay. Right. So when we watch, when we watch how they move, and we understand the attractions or the job of that movement, then that's what we attack. 
Mm. Right. Oh my gosh. And it, it just it, so it's just <laughs> and it's just putting people into pieces and and moving them, you know, um in ways that um you know you're gonna get some 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 good information, right? You're gonna get some action. We're gonna still keep it, you know, you know, to the to the hood type type, you yeah, know. Gotcha. But then it's then it's gonna elevate out of that out of those circumstances because we have to elevate out of those circumstances right and that doesn't and that doesn't that's right and that doesn't always mean physically you know what i mean (laughs) we got elevate here right and i i have a um another project that i'm that we're also working on called attic attic yeah oh okay i didn't hear about that one okay oh so that's coming after chest yeah so so what i want what i want to do is i want to mix you know a little information and I'm gonna add some comedy, you know, to show Salute. my versatility. Salute. Salute. MC Blue is in the building. Right. Not sure it wouldn't be know. possible. We're talking about the um, projects that um, BA got working on um, right now. Uh, well, he was telling us a little bit about chess, but you you just mentioned the attic. Yeah. Attic. So, yo, yo, check this out, oh, right? Man. Again, briefly, again, we all we all hear the word attic, and we think of either someone on on drugs or mm-hmm or a house space, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But we also have to understand that the attic is here because it's storage. Yeah, this is, that- what, this, is our, this is our attic. This is where we, we store things. Yes. Right? Yes. So so I like this. We, we wanna we want to clean out that attic, but we want to make light of some of the of some of the things that that you know addicts go through. Right. 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 And 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 show how to to um treat a, you know I mean, when you want to treat someone you want a, a treatment right mm-hmm. a treatment doesn't mean lock me down and tell me what to do every five minutes and do, 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 do. you know what i mean yeah. the treatment is putting me in an environment where that's not assessed when i don't even need to i don't want to feel that you know what i mean i feel good just the way i am wow wow yeah. that oh my so god we, yeah so we're gonna oh, we're gonna we're gonna drop it on them yeah so you got okay so you got the the youth program you got chess which i'm excited about um my dad is in that shout out to mc blue um mm-hmm. you got the autism um, organization autism organization added Voice, voices for autism nice yeah, that's our, that's our logo nice. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. you got somebody in your family Common. Are they right? Common? yeah my son oh, yeah yeah i have, I have a uh, 15 year old son named noah Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he was he has autism that um appeared when he was like three or four years old. He started moving backwards. And um it made me start to research and dig wow. and dig. And um I wouldn't allow medicine, so we went straight holistic, you know what I mean? All natural treatments, you, you know what I mean? And um it's been it's been it's been it's been good. It's been good. You know, you know I mean, autism is we we're seeing it more in the in the black and brown communities more than ever before. Um, seeing you know our ch- children, family members, or whatever with, on the spectrum, and mm-hmm. I mean it just seems like all of a sudden in the in these last maybe ten years, you know, we've been greatly affected by that in our community. But prior to that, I mean, I don't think we've heard about it as much. Can you speak on that? Like, do you know? Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. See, uh, again, we got to go into wordplay, terminology. See, when we were growing up, they were actually called retarded. Mm-hmm. Right. right, and they used that, that term. That was, that was the terminology they used. Because mm-hmm. you got to remember, autistic actually means a, 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 a higher level. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Again, when someone's autistic, they, they, they are like almost supreme in, in something. Mm-hmm. That one, that one thing, like my son, I don't, I don't know nobody that can type faster than my son. Oh, wow. wow. I mean, this boy can, can, can go right. Mm-hmm. And when he watches television, you know how the credits come up, mm-hmm. he'll memorize all the credits and write, right on his whole wall, all wow. the names on that. And he'll remember every last one of them. Oh, wow. Yeah. Right. So that's, they have a heightened level of right. ability somewhere. Mm-hmm. Right, because because one side of, of their brain is not commuting. Mm-hmm. Right? It's not balanced out. Right. Right. This, the same way uh, a person that becomes uh, blind, hearing becomes 
you know, very bright. They can hear, right. you know, things. So, you know, it's one sense is one sense. sense leave, the other one heightens. Right. It's right. Sure. So it's the it's same, good. it's the same thing with with with, with the brain. Mm -hmm. You know, when, when you're dealing with this, right? So the focus that we try to um do is keep what he loves to do that thing we want to keep that going because it's gonna yes. it's gonna turn into something else it's gonna turn into something beautiful so you mm -hmm. know that's that's the the goal and that's what we be, we be preaching for all the all the children yeah, we, don't, like we don't we don't we don't we um, don't promote any medicine that's any, right a, a, a right. doctor will tell you that it's temporary mm -hmm. and, and the way the body works the body if you feed the body medicine you're telling the body that it doesn't need to do its job right 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 so right then that that part will shut down mm -hmm. right and you won't get those nutrients and ingredients that you need to to do a lot of it right um right. um men that that that's going through like bodily issues and not you know uh um sicknesses breast milk mm -hmm. all the nutrients that you need is in breast milk wow it raises babies don't it it does. Oh, so you say you saying to go back to breast milk? Hey, to, listen, that, oh. that's the root. You're not supposed to drink any animal milk. That's right. That's true. That is true. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Why? 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 Why can't I drink the one thing that I was raised to drink? That that told me that I I can drink that and be the healthiest in the world. Wow. How do we lead? How do we lead from that? Mm -hmm. We fall into the sales and the product sales, and you know, you know, they yeah. put that in yeah. front of you as a status right right and sometimes people can't nurse so like i like you know i'm a breast cancer survivor so i couldn't nurse my last two children mm -hmm. but you know that's just because of circumstances you know but right. um, you know for the most part you know they say i, I mean i nurse my children breast milk is the best milk you know that's i mean we're not supposed to you know we know we don't come from cows so we should be you know and and we're finding that and i'm sure that you've done a lot of research around this that you know, this, the, the foods that we eat is the products that we're using and, and different medicines that we're taking that are causing this heightened level of autism in our children, you know, heightened level of this. We got this and that going on, you know, instead of doing things naturally, you know, how right. our, like you said, how our bodies were made to to be and to and, and to live vibrantly, you right. know. And this all falls into the category of what we're doing in, you know, some of the film and, you know, life. This is a part we don't we don't understand what it means to be a United States citizen because the United States is a oh business. man yes that right means. right business has presidents yes right yes. right it's yes. like a business so everything here is business down to the murders to to the, 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 the marches the you know the illegal um, treatment of people the separation of people mm -hmm. all of these things pay a part play a part in uh business yes right yeah you, you're trying to get the next person's job at your job right right and higher up right yeah <laughs> so yep. everything is, is <laughs> take that it down so take true. them down you know they speak don't, on that, it business don't, don't don't preach nothing about equality no right? at all right no because it's a hierarchy it's, system there you go exactly. right and that's yes. what we fall into right and mm -hmm. then that high falling into that hierarchy system takes us away from finding freedom. <laughs> oh and, then they, and then they write, then they, then they put it to you. They, they, they tell you, but they know you're not going to pick up that because you got to worry about that that bread. You got to yes. worry about trying to get to this next level here, and you know to compete in because if you don't have this, you a bum. If you don't, if you don't take take care of this, you a uh, bum ass. Uh, you know, yeah. All of these, all of these, you become all of these narratives, and then you right. fall into that. So now you see how deep you keep falling into you. Right. And, and then you can't see the way out. So when you're talking about the addict or the game of chess, which is all about life circumstances, it's all about our mindset, it's all about the way we think, because how we think is how we're going to move. You know what you I mean? You, you, can't, you can't do nothing else. Right. 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 I, I tell people, you're only as smart as the words that you know. Exactly. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> right. So if you limit your vocabulary, if you're not reading books, then all you're going to do is curse. All you're going to do is, you know, use the same 10 words or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, express yourself. It's, right? it's, yeah, you, you don't know how to communicate. Right. So then when you put in circumstances where people are communicating, mm. 
the, the, the only thing for that person that can't communicate is to leave or lash out or, yes. or, or demean, denounce what you're saying. Yes, yes. Right, because you can always talk on a negative energy any 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 kind of way, mm-hmm. right? So, you know, um, I found that, you know, um, I've taught grown people, older elderly men that couldn't read mm-hmm. how to read. Right. So this yeah. is this is this is a big problem with yeah. with with without 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 people because it's a lot of them that, that can't read and they'll act out right for that fact. Right. right? And that's and that's so true. Like you see kids in school that can't read. And mm-hmm. it's not that they don't want to do the work. I watched it, you know, you and I both work with youth. You watch a young person act out, and then when you really get to the root of it, you pull them away from their peers and away from the environment where they're embarrassed because they don't know how to read, because they don't know how to do math. They don't. They, they might be some of the, some young boys are colorblind and they don't know the colors that they're seeing. And people don't know how deep that and, runs, and, and they'll hide and they'll hide it exactly, and they'll hide it and they'll pretend, and it's like, man, you know. Or they struggling with some other things going on at home, and all of these things again it messes with this. And so if if they could keep messing with this, it, anybody, whether it's our education system, whether it's our just our government or our environment, whatever, we, then we're always gonna find ourselves in that same vicious circle, and then we're gonna have the same generational curses, same generational baggage, you know, just continuing to plague into our future. And that's not how God ordained or the most high ordained us to be. And 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 and, and the reason and some of the, these reasons are are because of the way the system is set up to teach, right? Right. Everybody learns different and at their own right. pace. That's right. And if that's you right. have a classroom of 20, 15, I don't care how many kids it is, uh 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 three out of them 10 is not gonna be able to comprehend. Right. As fast as the rest. So mm-hmm. they're going to be left behind. Right. And that's right. going to cause them to pretend. Yes. And we that's where we fall into the matrix. Right. And then in this. in so this, Everybody's been talking about the matrix lately. But we're going to talk about yeah, that. Later. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Because, you know, it, it, it's real life. And then, there, then there's fake life. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Where, where you're living in that. that that's, it's really not real. And that's that money, and that's that fit, uh, uh, high life, and having all the bread and the women and all that stuff. All that stuff is an illusion. Yes, yes, an illusion. Yes. And we have to understand the wordplay, right? Everything is wordplay. When yes. we were taught in school, right, the first thing you were taught in school was What's spelling what? words. Yes, spelling, spell. Yes. yes. See what words play spells. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Oh, you t- you touching on in, something. In order, in order for me, in order for me to yeah. to attract the opposite sex, the opposite sex, I have to be able to put a spell on her. Mm. I have to be able to see. We call it game and yeah. and all of this other stuff, but what these are spell heard? words. Mm-hmm. So that's why wow. some women find out. Oh, they lying. He wasn't lying. He was placing a spell on you. Wow! 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 Wordplay. You go. You go back to. He said this. He's not like he this. He was not like this. Yep. Right. Because he he put the he put the the the, the spell on you. The, the words that he put together would, would would make you feel whether it be his pain, his energy. Yeah, his, that's so true. You know? <laughs> that is true. Like, you know what I mean? You on it. You on it. This, that right there. All right. Because this is what this is what we lead with. Yeah. That's so true. I don't, I don't know you. What, I mean, what else can you leave with, though? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> nothing, <Right? but> what, <clears throat> man, that's deep. That is deep. I got a, I got a, I got a question. Yeah, <laughs> that's deep, though. Blue. I got a question, brother. I, I want, I want you to, uh, because you got an audience now. Mm-hmm. So I want to try to touch on some of the uh, most important questions that could be touched on. You know, while while we have you here on this platform, absolutely. Uh-oh. When you was coming up as a kid, and I'm going to talk about specifically as a teenager, mm-hmm. what were some of the peer pressures that you had to endure uh, growing up in Brooklyn, as you remember? Whoa! 
you know what? Um, for me, again, everybody's an individual. It was different for me. My peer pressure was I wanted to be friends with everybody. Mm. I wanted to be friends with everybody. I got that problem. <laughs> and 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 through throughout being friend trying to be friends with everybody, you find you find out that people everybody don't want to be friends with you. That's true. It it can that's when I learned that the smallest things, I mean molecule small, right? A person will find to not like you. That's true. <laughs> it can be anything. Wow. You know, I, I went through that, so I understand that. <laughs> I understand that. That that's and that's a real peer pressure. Oh that's my goodness. real peer pressure. People don't realize like the fact that you want to be cool with people because you don't see no reason not to, right? Right. Is, was that your thought? Like for me, I was the uh, same. Yo, I, I wanted to have fun with you. I wanted to right. play. I'm, I, I was a, a, a jolly person. Like I, I was, I danced. I was, I was on TV doing a Michael Jackson at at, at right. ten years old. Right. That's what right. I wanted to hear. I knew it. You were <laughs> down with Michael Jackson. You <laughs> mother. <laughs> no, I just, no, I just like. <laughs> no, 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 no. My, 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 my leads. Was, my lead. My, I had a pair of leads that I purposely bought high water. <laughs> <laughs> with a pair of wallabies. <laughs> you can't wear the wallabies because you can't do the moonwalk and she went and got me a pair of penny loafers. <laughs> no, that's right. Thank God for your mama. Yeah, yeah, facts. And and do uh, you do you I, remember do you, that was my get out. Do you remember the pleats? I was a dancer. That was your get out of the of the peer pressure? I, I, I was a dancer and I didn't care. Because it wasn't do you rem do you remember the pants we used to wear called the pleats? Of course. Okay. Do you remember? The, do you remember the Gabardine, stitches? Gabardine. Yep. Yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember the mock necks? Mock necks. What? That's right. <laughs> the mock necks. All kinds of. Oh, <laughs> what? That, that was the style. British walkers mock neck. You, you, you know what I mean? The British walkers. Yeah. That's right. That dudes was wearing Sassoons and Sergio Valentes and all of that. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was unisex thing uh, uh, back then. It wasn't none of this, you know, stuff that's going on right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah, my 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 upbringing was like kind of different because what I didn't do is let however people felt control me. I did not do that. Amen. I did that's not good. do that. And I so I would at, probably, at what I would point at what point it, at what point in your life that it took a turn? From you being this kid listening to Michael Jackson to being growing up in the projects, to you got to a point where you got yourself involved with like uh, criminal activities. Again, when you when you you know try to be friends with everybody, um, people start to take advantage of that, right? Mm -hmm. So then, what I did was went into my own cocoon, right? I started dancing, so I started hanging out with people that dance, mm -hmm. and and. When, when people, like certain people started trying to make light of it, the one thing that I did have with me, I could fight. Okay. And I wasn't afraid to fight. Mm -hmm. So I would fight all the time. Anybody, you, if you, it, it got to the point, if you laughed at me, we was fighting. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and the beautiful thing about that, I, I know that like the fighting part was wrong, but the beautiful thing that about it was, I never stopped dancing. <laughs> you kept dancing. No, I mean, all, all, all the way to the all, all the way to the gangsters started dancing. Wow! The people that they looked up to started dancing. Wow! You know, before they were just standing around watching me dance, me and my man Psych. We was every every club. You know, back then, in early eighties, we had the BC Boys and Marcus Garvey. You know, we was we was you know we was um out there like that when it came to that dancing thing, you know? So, you know, all the females, the women yeah, lo dancing. loved us. That was like, what, that was that was the, like a form of fight and like battle or whatever, right? Was the dance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. it, was, it was, again, it was a form of expression without actually being physical. Right, right. You, you know right. what I mean? Because as men, we're naturally competitive. Right. Naturally, you know what I mean? We're, we're transmitters. You know I mean? So what women, would you say? Women are receivers. Right. So so in that with that experience, right? 
what would you say from your childhood and, and then your teenage years and things like that would be like some of the biggest lessons that you've learned? You know, if you had to drop some gems about the biggest lessons that you learned, can you share that with us? The misconception of prison. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you say the misconception of prison? <laughs> let me tell you why. Please, let me tell you. Let me, oh, yeah. Everybody that. out there, everybody out there listening, please listen to this. If you don't listen to nothing else that I said. That's interesting. When I went into the, um, let's say getting arrested, right? When I started getting arrested in my neighborhood and where we come from, it was a badge of honor. Mm. So so we we had to go to Rackus Island. Like a must, right? And when you a young cub and you like like I said, we're we're competitive, we're physical, you know, you're throwing it, you're throwing thrown into a situation where you gotta express that physicality. Mm. Wow. That, and whatever animalistic uh, uh uh image you take on, whether you're a lion, tiger, a bear, whatever, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. This is where you're gonna show show that at, right? So it was a badge of honor, and I'm I'm not gonna sit here and lie to the people. Wow. That's an it interesting a perspective on prison. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? You here? Ba. Um... Oh, okay. You know, we got into these we got into these you know fights and, and meeting all these different people from different boroughs and everybody talking about, you know, the respect. Oh, I respect this. I respect this and fighting over phones and TVs. And, you know, it was all like, wow. OK, <laughs> you know, what I mean, we, we, we can do this. People were getting cut. No one was dying, though. Mm. You know what I mean? People were getting cut and all that. And then you had the correction officers. They join in on the fun as well. You know, they take wow. you out there and beat you up and, you know, at, at you know, at their convenience. So, you know, you, you, you. As as a young as a young guy, you 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 tend to be able to withstand that. So right? what was your what was your perspective on it before you actually went there? So you said I wanted to go. Oh 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 okay. And so all right. So you was you thought it was a bad yeah. Take me to prison. I, 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 I had a dream. I had a dream when I had a dream when I was eight years old that I was going to go to prison. Oh my goodness! Wow. When I, when I was eight years old. Wow. Literally seeing the bars closing and everything, the noise and everything. Wow. Wow. And, and, and when it and when it happened, right? See again, we have to separate jail from prison. See, right. Rackets Island was jail. Mm -hmm. Right? Now here now here go to here go to ultimate now. When I went to prison, it was it was the most disappointing thing I've ever seen in my life wow to the point where i looked and said i fought all these years to get here oh my goodness that was the turnaround for me wow i was running into friends that i haven't seen in years and been in years and then you find out that the things that they're doing in there that that ain't cohesive with you and then you got you like are you serious right Right. No. And so being this gangster thing leads to this because when you get that time like that, that's your option. Mm. Yeah. No. Right. And then you got the groups. You got the Bloods, Crips, Latin Kings, Jamaican, the the the, the church people, the Muslims. The, I mean, you got everybody yeah. separated, separate, right? Everybody. <laughs> And everybody got these rules, and it and it's this one person that's supposed to speak for everybody. <laughs> All this stuff, and you got to do this, and and the big guys in there are the are the not the drug dealers, but drug users. <laughs> wow, they running the ship. They running. The, they running the ship. Mm -hmm. You know. So again, none of that was attractive to me oh, at my. all. And then you had the bunch of people that that I did have to look at. And those are the ones that were trying to get out. So now you got to say to yourself, I spent all this time and energy trying to get somewhere where motherfuckers are trying to get out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Didn't yeah. add up for me. Yeah. And I ain't been back since. Amen. Thank God for that. Thank 20, God. For 23 that. years. I ain't been in nobody prison. Mm-hmm. Right, and prison don't make you no tough guy because you've been there. Yeah, they the they the softest motherfuckers because them dudes in blue tell them what to do mm -hmm. every single day. 
and they got, and some of them got to get with them to move around to do things and all that stuff. And they're the same people that'll call you a rat and all this over. You know, they promote all this, all this chaos about don't tell. They telling people, my kids, not to listen to their mamas and daddies. Now, if your mother and father preach that to you, salute. But if your mother and father don't preach that to you, then so be it. Right? So since you've been to prison, what would you say is some maybe one or two things that people misunderstand about you? Mm. That 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 I'm aggressive. Mm. I have a I have a, a standoffish about me, right? Um, which I which I know. Um, it, it always affected me in my workplace. You know, all the, oh, you're intimidating. You this, you this because I I don't really like play with people. I don't I don't joke with people. If you don't if you know me, you know I'm the funniest. I'm the you could talk to me. We we could chat. I my I try to keep that world for me really small. Because mm-hmm. we all have our triggers, and you may not know mine. Right, right. And th- and that happens, and that's the, you know that's a spare the moment thing, mm-hmm. right? So when you know yourself, you have to you know stay in that in my place. I stay in my place. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So I don't I don't try to jive with everybody, talk with everybody. I don't joke with everybody. You know I don't I don't do none of that stuff. And like I said, the people that know me love me. You know what I mean? All my relationships with my friends have been 30, 40 years and better. Yeah. You know, I don't have no failed friendships. Amen. So with that being said, it seemed like you've come, I, you, I know you've come a long way. Since right. then. But if you could look back at your 18 year old self, what kind of advice would you give him? Oh man, keep, keep, you keep doing what, what, what you was doing um, as far as profession, looking for professionalism. Uh, see, um, when I was when I was younger, um, my mom got on drugs when I was when I was young, so I had to take care of kids at a at a young age and you know all that stuff. So I don't I don't make no excuse for that's why I was out there doing what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it was it was it was a part of it was a part of my my my, my journey, right? And and you know, having to to be a father at, at such a young age, it was responsibility. Then I find out that. You become a man when your daddy died. Mm. My daddy died when I was a baby. Wow. You know what I mean? So I, I almost came out a man. And, I, and that's why all of these responsibilities were put on my shoulders. Because I, I, was, I was able to, to, to get through the, the, the hardest, the hardest of the hard of ridicule. And, and, you know, my mother, my mother didn't come to my, 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 um, video shoot my mother didn't come to my 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 singing i was with teddy riley for three years um i, I did shows in all the schools i went from dancing to a singing mm. you know what i mean i wow. really i was originally the one that sung the um kid and play ain't gonna hurt nobody are uh, you serious wow facts, facts with, with alan blake and quicksilver that's a fact oh wow so, so what happened with your with music like you just didn't want to pursue it or you just kept getting in trouble well, well, what what happened was um, some of the things that these people are hearing now that's going on with the younger youth in the music business. You know, they attempted that. Oh. And I and I was zero tolerance. Right, right, right. So that that was the that was the the, the turning point. Oh, okay. But, yeah. You know I, I mean? yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy that they were trying to. I mean. You, oh. Yo, I, I I used to tell I used to tell <laughs> I used to tell people. What was really going on back then? Man, get out of here! They ain't that, that, that. No, nah, nah. see, because they didn't have all this video cameras and you people taking pictures. Right. They didn't do all of that back then. Right. You, you know what right. I mean? And so you, were, you, were, you, were, I, you people weren't speaking up then either, ba. They weren't at, like oh, at, at I mean, stuff like at that. One, they wasn't talking like at, now. You got the Me Too movement and all of that stuff, so people speak up more. Like you see all of this stuff coming out later. And it happened in the in the those, those times, the you know seventies eighties, and now it's coming out. So back yeah. then there was that that hush type of mentality. Don't say nothing, even if you told somebody they would they didn't believe you. It was just like crazy back then because you know why? Yeah, they controlled the media. Yeah, yeah. See, you didn't have no outlet. I got a question to do that. Right, right. Yourself. They would shut you down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got a question. Okay. At what point in your life did you decide 
at what point in your life did you decide to become a researcher? Oh man, that's a that's a very interesting story. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. Again, my mother wasn't always on drugs. She got on on drugs when I, um, like I said, but like ten, eleven, right? Um. Before that, my mother used to work for Blue Cross and Blue Shield, and okay. uh, a gentleman by the name of Gordon Savior, and he was a Muslim. Rest in peace. Salute to this man. Um. He used to babysit me, and he was the dude that taught me chess. Oh, wow. Every day. Every day he taught me a move. And when I got chess, he gave me the book of life from the gate and mm. had me reading, right? Um, my aunt was married to a Black Jew, so I grew up also um, hearing those um, conversations of, you know, the Moses stories and, you know, all of these different um, uh, scholars and entrepreneurs and people that were, uh, oh, my phone, man. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Am I out the frame? I don't want this phone to die. It's not. Was was he able to hear my question because yeah, I've been talking up? You, he's yeah. still answering it. Yeah, he's answering it. Mm -hmm. You're still yeah, answering yeah. the question, right? Because you 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 broke up on my side. I couldn't hear anything for a minute. Okay. Um, get me another extension thing so I can put over here. Um, what was the question again? I'm sorry. I just he, he actually. I'll ask you at what point in your life. Mm -hmm. At what point in your life did you decide to become a researcher? Oh, 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 okay, yeah. Savior, um, again, taught me um, the book of life. And then my, my aunt married a, a a black Jew and they had children and all that. So I, I had the experience of listening to the the Jew, the Israelites, um, where they come from and who was who back then as a as a young, young guy, um, a young man. And then um, my other uncle, Frankie, he studied pure Israelite stuff. Mm -hmm. My cousins right now, they they live that. Right. Um, yeah. So, so um, you know, you grow up hearing all of these different different um, religions and sides of, of the story and whose story is being told and where things started and where things originated you start you know you hear all these different things and then you got everybody has a different account of, of things yeah you, you know what i mean so you know um when i learned chess I, I i learned that um my conversation wasn't for everybody See, mm. a lot of people couldn't talk on a level that i was talking on you, you know what i mean so i would talk to um brothers that were older than me you know, so they get you into the five percent nation because they start spilling, spilling that <laughs> uh, rhetoric, right? You know, I am understanding. <laughs> right, right, and <laughs> then you start to research who did that. Clarence thirteen next, and everybody start to call in names, and then you yeah. find out later on that all of it was all of it is just to sound smart. <laughs> because again, wow. Everything is perspective and, and things like and, and, and how people see things and everybody can see things different. Right. Right. And who who you to say that they're wrong? We can't, we can't, you know I mean, this is this is how they see things, right? So this is where that, that word perspective um come come in at. And we we have to deal with people with the same perspectives. Right. So and, gr and grow the ones that want to learn. So your research okay, and I got it started when I was eight years old. Okay. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, it's been a pleasure talking to you, brother. I have a a, a two ten live interview. I got to go on, but I just want uh, I just want you to give one takeaway thing uh, to the youth before I leave, um, and then you guys can carry on. So my question would would you to you 
would be if you had to speak specifically to the drill rappers that's committing crimes against amongst each other, what would be your go-to words to the music industry of the, the young hip hop rappers to help combat uh, you know, the, the, the division within this industry? What, what are your words to them right now? Drill, um, again, drill, all, the, all these stuff. The first thing we got to do is stop taking away the terminology. Drill. They're killing each other. Right. See, right. We, 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 we put stars and stripes on it. Mm. That's the first thing we got to stop doing. Yeah. Right? We go along with it as elders. Right. That's that's the one thing we, we have to do. And we have to start dealing with the etymology of that word. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and let these kids understand that that it doesn't make you uh see a real dude to take a person's life and to do all of that stuff. We gotta show them what it does it take to be a real man when you tell them that it's not, and we're gonna show them freedom. That's right. <laughs> that's right. the only thing. It's the only thing that's gonna make you feel that take that feeling away that something ain't right <laughs> i'm not supposed to be going through this you know and then we then we can work on the ones that has the problems in the home the, the parents that got the drug issues and the kids that you know we got we got to get with the the educators got to all get together and we got to talk the same talk See, when you start changing it up and and and, and not elevating them they're going to keep doing the same thing Right. Because they have no understanding, and you and you if you don't know if he can can read or not, so he's some of them just memorizing what you're saying and acting out like you said, right? Earlier. Right, because they can't get into these conversations, you know, and and and, it does, mm -hmm. and no, everybody knows that it it, it it doesn't feel good to not know something, to right. not be able to you know add your two cents, as they say, when you don't have a two cents, right, and all your two cents is, has, has to do with negativity. Mm. You got a lot. You got a whole bunch of sense when it comes to that. We got to show them how to how to how to make positive sense out of everything that we do. If it don't make sense, okay. then you shouldn't do it. Absolutely. Okay, my brother. Well, look, I appreciate you coming on again. I have a tight schedule today, really tight. Five o'clock. I got some people coming over, you so got I got a couple of things. Get you at nine o'clock. But I want to say I love you, brother. You already know you love back, is going to be here always. Know. I love you, baby always. girl. Um, yes, dad got to go, bro. I got to mm -hmm. go. But y'all can stay on for however long y'all want to. To the next yeah, time, I'm going to salute you. I hope everybody listening uh, to the gym and my brother and my uh, daughter speak. I hope they somebody was able to get um, some kind of information that's going to touch them. Mm -hmm. We're always going to be here available to you if you want to reach out to either one of us, 81 North or the gym. Both have platforms um, mm -hmm. in the description. I'm sure my daughter will leave all the information necessary as, as, as opposed yeah, to yeah, um, um, yeah. VA yeah. as well. So I got to go. I love y'all. Peace. And I, I'll Peace. be on love the next you. live with y'all. Right? Yo, tell Mikey. Say Mikey D my love, man. Tell Mikey oh, yeah. He'll be on here God. on um what? Monday. Mikey okay. D will be on here. Yeah, he'll be on here on Monday. Um, But yeah, so that no, that's good. Um, You know, the, the young people today I, it's just... Is, is different, especially the young the young men. I mean, it's, it's, it seems like it's just more and more challenging. I got three boys, you know, I got three boys and I'm, I don't, I'm not raising them in the hood. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to say it like that, but no, you no, know, okay. we, we, in the, we in the suburbs and right. I just, you know, I, I just want better for them. I want them to, you know, then we're not in the suburbs, suburb. we in like, not the hood, but not the, the, the rural area, <laughs> like right. in between. Well, well, well see, where, now check it out, right? Let, let, let me let me touch on that because a lot of people that. have a misconception of the hood and what, what the hood is and what it means. I grew up in the hood. I grew <clears> up in the hood. Right, right. So again, everywhere we grow up, and especially in you know, in our circumstance and all that, right. we, is the hood, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That is not the streets. Right, right. That is not the street. So if you grow up in the hood, you can be hood. But that don't make you street. That's true. That's true. And that's that's true. and we want we want our kids to understand that you can be hood, but right. you don't have to be in this street. That's good. You know what? That's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. That's a good point. 
and we and, have to express those those differentialities so that they can understand. So when they, I'm from the hood, but I'm not in the street. Right, right. Let me well, live. And and the thing with that too is is that I don't know why these young men crave that. They want. They, it's it's almost like they want like what you said. You were you wanted to go to jail. You know what I mean? Like you wanted that until you the the misconception hit you and you was like. <laughs> Hey, this ain't the place that I thought, <laughs> you know, and, and so I don't, but I don't know why they crave that. Like they, they want to because, be because, because it, it was, it was it, that they done killed somebody. Right. I, I'm like, why do you want that? Okay. Because, because again, right. We, we, we missing where, where this is started. It's starting from the elders. That's, oh, that was over us. Right. My elders had us out there robbing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's true. You know, but, it, we 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 took on again the physicality right right some of us played football and basketball and all this different stuff right and didn't get the support that we needed to to grow yes in the home right so you yeah. so you so, so that good so, so that anxiety for for your passion starts to die out oh my gosh yes and then you start to gain another passion which is prove that I can be in this field mm -hmm. as well. I can be angry too. Right. I can right. be angry too. Yeah. Everybody wants to be able to respond. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Everybody. Ah, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Make a point. And two people arguing is, is nobody's listening. Right. That's fact. Right? Right. That's two dead batteries. You run two dead batteries together, you ain't going nothing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so listen, I know that there's been people, like you said, you know, the elders um, growing up. I know there have been people along the way that have dropped gems in your life. You know, you don't have to say who are they, but what gems have they dropped in your life that they still stick with you to this day? One of, one of, one of them was, uh, 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 <laughs> it, it, it's funny too, because uh It was it was a, a, a one of the guys that again back when I was dancing, mm -hmm. he was like, "Don't stop doing what you do," mm -hmm. and I never stopped doing what I wanted to do. That's right. And I wanted to be positive. Mm -hmm. All right. I wanted I wanted that. I wanted to help. I wanted to, that was always been my 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 thing. You know, everybody got their niche. Right. Mine was the help. See, mm -hmm. In my neighborhood, I was the equal, I was like the equalizer. Call me when you can't call the police. <laughs> I'm going to get your jewelry back. I'm getting your coat back. I'm getting your money back. All right. You, you know what I mean? So it was yeah. always in me to be the, the person that helped to, to, to elevate people, right? Because I don't want to elevate. I want to stay balanced. Yes. I want to keep my feet on the floor. Mm. <laughs> they can have the upper echelon. I'm going to stay balanced. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they told you to continue to be you. Any other gems that they dropped? Um... Study, study. Um, yes. um, um, words. Find, find, find the um words. They, they, they mean everything. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mention his name. Um, Rodney Bradham, A.K.A. Born. Oh mm -hmm. man, we he is one of the the dudes that that I researched with. We started the study group together, but he he took it to that 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 level where he was deep, 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 deep. Wow. And you, you know, and then when he would come, we would come together, and then we would see it, and we would go further, deep, 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 deep. And this is where we, you know, and you you find you find some things, and no disrespect to anybody, but you find some things better than orgasm. Right, 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 right. Some find out some information it lasts so long. It, it, it lasts it lasts a whole lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just keeping it to you. That's a different kind of feeling. That's a different kind, a yeah. different kind of high or oh. emotional. Uh, like you feel like you connected. It's it's a different connection. You, you like to you crack the code, right? Right. <laughs> crack that like code. Woke now. <laughs> That's right. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so with that, um, and, and I know that you know people have dropped a lot of uh, gems along the way. Um, do you have any mentors that you look up to, or those that you follow and and that continue to follow you along your life's journey? Um. I, I I I say this. Um, 
I don't like to follow anyone. I what I do is I take pieces from everything and because it's a puzzle. <laughs> it's a puzzle. And 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 you know, some people have great information. Mm-hmm. You just gotta know where to play, you gotta know where to place it at on the board. Cause it's chess. <laughs> I'm ready for this series. Please, I, I, I as soon as it drops. <laughs> <laughs> we go, we go, yeah, we're gonna open up a can of worms on on a on a on a um you know mile level yes. um of of um you know education and you know yeah tell, that's, tell, that's good. And, and people have to understand that um again these words, right? Mm-hmm. I don't want to be smart, I don't want to be right. Mm-hmm. Right, I I, I, <laughs> I, I want to be intelligent, and I want to be understood. Oh, good, that's good, that's right. Yep, yep, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. So, and I know we we getting down to the final hour, um, but I, I mm-hmm. it's just I don't know. You, you got some great stuff. Um, are there any tools that you use that you would recommend? you know, other researchers or other people that are looking to get into, you know, screenwriting and things like that. Um, any tools that you use that you would share with others? Yeah. Um, um, when, when it comes to um, researching, right, don't stop. When you, because when you stop, um, you're saying that you're closed-minded, that mm. you found, that you found it. Wow. You know, and, and then you become a Christian or Muslim and all that stuff because now you, you're tunnel vision. You have tunnel vision. You, what you found and what you say is is the fucking end all the be all. <laughs> you know, is- you stand on things. And then 10, 20, <laughs> then 10, 20 years later, you know what I mean? What you just stood on just collapsed. <laughs> That's happening. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, and that's what it has to do every time. It has to make sense. It has to make sense. All right. And from from the the screenwriter or you know somebody well, was in the yeah with the screen with the screenwriting, it I say this when you write in something real. It, it, there's no there's no block there's 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 nothing mm-hmm. there to stop the creativity. Mm-hmm. When you when you wanna wanna when they say spice it up add more stuff to it that, that's what it becomes difficult, mm-hmm. right? Like a lie. Right, you right. Gotta keep right. trying to follow up with that right. lie. So when you're writing, you got to keep trying to follow authentic. up with the lies. <laughs> they got to be authentic then. Stay, stay authentic. Yeah. And that, that's a very important word because, you know, this, this movie here is about authentication. Remember that word. Yes. Authentic. Okay. So authentic. from your journey, um, what gems would you leave with our guest here? You know, um, this is where we drop gems. We inspire other people. So, you know, are there any gems that you would leave behind so that people, you know, know that they shouldn't stop? I mean, what you just said, right? Okay, there. I got, I got one for you, right? Check it out, right? For all my, for all my people, um, and again, no color, in, yeah. in, in, in this, right. all my people, all people, um, that's right, all people. Mm-hmm. Um, find out your status. Find out. A, if you are a first class citizen or a second class citizen, mm. not from the definition, but on paper. Mm. That's the most important thing. Yeah. The most important information that you want to know your status, your mm. legal status. Mm. Okay. Yeah. We have to bring you back on to talk about that. Because how oh, people, people going to want to know how to get started. You know, she. You know, I, the gym. I'm, I'm here anytime you need me. You know what I mean? You, you, you're doing it. Yeah, it just, All right. So, where can listeners find you? I know it's 81 North, but anywhere yeah. else? Uh, what's your um your social media handles? Um, um, I'm on Facebook, Jermaine Bell. Um, we 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 actually putting together. Um, we got a um chess chess life, also on Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna start touching some more platforms. See, the one thing I, I understood about, about this thing, you only have one time to make a first impression. Right. So we're going we're gonna to make, we're gonna, we're gonna make it count. That's right. And, and listen, I'm I'm already impressed by the narrative. I, you know, <laughs> see the, the script, I mean, I'm I'm blessed by it. I, I think that it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. See, I, I want to see it played out. Right, that, right. That, like, <laughs> man, that's going to be crazy. So, you know, you... You know, there's no competition in your lane. 
There's oh, no man, I appreciate that. Coming man. from you, that's big. Thank you. Listen, the most high got you, God got you. Um, yes. You know, this is this is just the beginning. And I, I feel truly blessed that you joined us today here on The Jam. I appreciate mm -hmm. you. I know the listeners appreciate you for dropping jazz, being here with us today, inspiring other people to keep going, to keep researching, keep pushing, whatever it is they want to do not to give up. Um, because that's that's big, you know, and, and, and knowing your true citizenship, right? That's right. That's yes. right. Well, thank you for being on the jam. I You're appreciate more than welcome. it. VA, Uncle VA. <laughs> You're already. You All there. right. Have All a right. blessed and prosperous day. You too. Blessings to the people. Thank you. Yes. Chess, right. the game of life. Yes. All right.